Hey what's up guys my name is Master and welcome back to the video on this channel now in today's video guys i'm going to be talking about the history of face clan how did it originate how did it come to an end and why is it now owned by a previously hacker tagged account what really happened to it i'm going to go over all of that in this video over here a person who goes by the name of genji actually helped me out a ton with this video and that's how i got most of the information in the correct order also my mic is kind of broken so if it sounds weird today it's it's like it fell down 3 times and now the wires bent and now every now and then the gain just increases a lot and then it sounds really awful i'll try to correct it myself while editing the audio but i'm sorry if anything like that happens uh while you're listening to it so around 10 months ago uh, on uh, the 17th or 18th of august keemstar basically put out a tweet saying that he's trying to find out a new game to host a tournament on i know this might sound like it's not related to phase in any way shape or form but then i'm just giving you the context of how it was created first so when keemstar put this tweet out vince on his old account commented vince op which leads me to believe that they were actually working together otherwise why would vince simply comment that keemstar was op on something unrelated and the fact that he said 100% dev support leads me to believe that this was actually related to cranker so after a few days keemstar was actually verified and the devs gave him a frostbite and it's just sitting in his inventory right now A day or two after the tweet was put out he deleted it because something might have came up and the reason he deleted this and a few weeks after this a whole thing was announced the tournament was actually unfortunately called off due to some reason i'm not really sure if i can go into that because i myself don't know the entire back story and i'd rather not spread false information so when keemstar announced that he was actually going to host the tournament i mean when he hinted towards it a lot of phase members like phase rain and phase gas started playing this game and they bought in a lot of people on to cranker like basically their videos have over 100000 views and people in their streams also asked what game they were playing so they were obviously intrigued by what the members were playing and they probably wanted to play it themselves now since phase is such a prestigious gaming organization in the whole world not just in cranker the devs decided to give them special perks like ar vouchers so they could gift it to their viewers on stream and in the youtube comment section one of the other perks was that phase rain actually got his own like really og name in the game his original account was known as phase rain 96 and it was changed by sydney himself or one of the other members of the staff team to just rain now around the time when phase was actually getting integrated into cranker there used to be an open clan known as phase now no one has screenshots of this because it was from a really long time ago but then the original open phase clan got deleted and then it got remade and verified into the This, the owner of the clan was a person named Mitch and I'll talk about him a bit later in the video because he is actually really important to the story. Phase was actually one of the first verified clans because it was there in the first verification wave for clans. This went on all right for a few weeks or a few months. I'm not really sure. I just remember this a bit vividly. But then suddenly Phase started having a bit of issues with the developers of the game and then the devs finally cut ties with Phase and then eventually the Phase members stopped streaming the game and making videos on it. Now I mentioned a person named Mitch a few minutes ago like a minute ago. Now I'll tell you why this guy is important in the story. Now he was the one who owned the Phase clan in Cranker as you can see over here. The thing was that since Phase actually cut ties with the devs or the devs cut ties with Phase, there was no use of the Phase clan even being in the game anymore. So basically Mitch wanted to join the dev clan owned by Sydney. So he basically deleted the clan and then the tag basically got claimed by another person named Tracks, but then High Noon a staff member of the game took it off him and then unverified the clan and claimed it for himself until another person could actually take it. Now the funniest part of the story it's not really funny it's just kind of interesting to think about but then there's a hack attack account known as Kirito Duel I played on this account for a video a long time ago like 6 months ago it's one of my most popular videos but then I actually had this account I didn't have it it was a public account the password was leaked on a video I found it and I used it now what happened was that this account was actually unhacked the password was changed and this account was given to Mitch so this account is basically Mitch is all right now and this is what owns the face clan right now and an other thing is that Quacky the leader of verb the clan which I am in right now he is in this clan over here so there are two members the alt of Quacky and a previously hacker tagged account which is currently Mitch's alt account so if you wanted to know why Kirito Duel was the owner of the 
face clan well now you know and that is the entire history of the face clan in kranka how did it start what is the history of it and how did it unfortunately come to an end a lot of research went into this not by me by genji again thank you very much for that and if you found this informative or enjoyable leave a like and subscribe it would mean so freaking much to me with that being said thanks for watching use creator code mile in the kranka shop to help me out in thing and goodbye